talking about my heat damage and um, how much I had and if I should transition or um, big chop and I had a tentative plan of what I was going to do like cut off an inch every three months and then by the end of this year see whatever is left of my damage just to chop it off at the end of the year well I realized that every time I was touching my hair it was just really really brittle um, even though it looked shiny it just didn't feel good the damage part of my hair the heat damage so I found out every time I did my hair I was just cutting 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 and I finally decided just to do a mini chop um, I will do a, insert a video down below of when I was um, like a video of me washing my hair or something so you can see that my hair was all the way down to my waist it took me five years to grow it all natural to my waist and as you see I cut it to collarbone um, I still have about six inches of heat damage left. You can tell in the front there's a loose um, curl. But this is the first time that my ends, when I cut it, I don't know, when I cut it, my ends at least had a little curl. And I was like, yay. Now, after I cut, I cut, if I add all the trims up I did last year, last year I trim, trimmed about, um, three inches off my hair um, in 2015. And just in January alone, just me touching my hair and getting frustrated, nothing working and feeling dry and brittle and just didn't hold the style correctly. Uh, this past weekend, I cut off an inch. And then the weekend before that, I cut up off an inch. So just my normal trims and just on um, the last two weeks, uh, in total, I cut off about three, four, five inches. And then what I had left over, I was like, okay, either I'm gonna make a decision or I, I can't keep flip flopping. So let let me meet myself in the in the middle, um, because honestly, if I did a big chop, um, my hair would have been about like this, like a little fro. And to be honest with you, I don't know how to style that. So I made a. Um, a concession with myself. I was like, I'll do a mini chop just to get rid of the majority of those dead ends. I've been holding on to those ends for five years um, since I've been natural starting in 2010. So it was time for me to let it go. And it was other things I had to figure out why was I holding on to it? Was it vanity? What what was it? Was it my definition of beauty? Um, did I have to have long hair? So not only was it just something just easy snip snip like a haircut, I had to kind of sit myself down and figure out why was I having such a struggle making this decision. Um, and it was just that it took me so long to grow it and um, I thought it was a batch of beauty for me and I had to let go of that vanity and honestly this year 2016 is a year for me I am concentrating on everything I can do this year financially spiritually health wise everything to make me happy my goal from here on out is to find happiness and to be happy so one step to get to that is to let go of things that do not serve you and I had to let go of my dead ends beauty is more than just what grows from my scalp to be I mean it, this is just vanity um, this is just outer appearance my beauty comes from within it's my kindness uh, my empathy my sympathy the way I treat others the way I care about people that's what beauty is beauty is not your outer appearance your makeup your hair your outfit I mean it could be all on fleek but if you're a really mean nasty person I don't care how on fleek you are I am not going to see you as beautiful so I had to get past that part and just find a side to chop. So I did record when I cut my hair, but um, that four minute clip did get corrupted. So I apologize. I really wanted to show you that part to show you my reaction. I didn't cry. Um, I was pretty matter of fact. My mind was already made up. So usually what happens when my mind's made up, I'm just going forward. So um, let's get closer. So yay. You can tell right up here my curls. Hi curls. It's nice to have you back. And um, even the this damage part right here, because um, like I said, I have about six more inches. So 
this is going to go by the end of this year. I am cutting it, but at least it's easier to, this is a wash and go, a wash and go with some gel in it. So the next clip, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do a wash and go on my new short color bone hair. So I'm kind of excited about this journey. I am going to grow my hair out, but this time I'm not using any heat ever. This just doesn't work for me. For me personally, I don't want to ever use heat. Already broke up with my flat iron. I'm breaking up with my blow dryer. The only thing ever going to touch these tresses is air. I'm going to always air dry. So I'm still going to now be on my um, remaining transition journey to the end of this year. And December 31st, 2016, I'm cutting the rest of this heat damage off. And then I'm starting my regrowing journey of growing my curly hair um, back to my waist. And the shrinkage is real. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. I'm embracing my um, sh um, shrinkage. I'm embracing my short hair. I will let you know, it doesn't take much to detangle now. <laughs> I don't have to use that much product. So that's the, the pros to this as well. So um, the next clip, I'm going to show you how I got this wash and go. And I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.